<laughs> we're still around, <laughs> kitties. We're still around. It's the Vivid 25th Anniversary Tour, and we're going to actually, as is a trend now, we're going to actually play Vivid in the sequence, in the original sequence. Our best known song is Cult of Personality, and it's actually the first song on the record. Now, during the course of touring, we would always play that song like last. So this is a very interesting thing where we're actually going to wind up playing it, if not first, it'll be when we play the Vivid sequence. Even if we play a couple of songs in front, we're going to play it exactly the way, way, way it was. Part of the cult of personality is it's the message, but it's how the message is being delivered, the delivery system of the message. Living Color is a rock band based by all of our backgrounds, whether it's West African, whether it's from, coming from the South, whether it's coming from the Caribbean, whether it's coming from the streets of Brooklyn, the streets of New York. You know, we have all these things that we throw into the mix, even sometimes just having fun in rehearsal. We'll go into a dance party groove, we'll go into a straight disco beat, we'll do some straight up jazz, jazz fusion, Afro-Cuban jazz. We grew up listening to all of it, so sometimes it's just fun to, to be able to make and create other sentences and paragraphs out of our mixed vocabulary. And this city allowed us to be who we are. Look at me, this is all I have today. I was involved in the early hip hop movement of Sugar Hill Gang and Grandmaster Flash and all that stuff. And even prior to that with other artists that were on that label for the moment. So I, so I look at the era of the music that I was involved with and the scene that, I, that, was, that was helping us create that music, which was New York City. But you're competing with the city. It, you're, you're it, you know, you're really trying to gr grab the attention of and and hold on to the city, and that's tough. That's really the tough part. On the subway, it's the same thing because you're you're competing with something that's much louder than you'll ever be. The subway is always louder than you'll ever be. So, and, but you, but you have to use the rhythm of the city in order to, to, to catch on to what's happening. And when you become a part of that, when you hear where that's coming from and you tap into it, it's really magical. And also we're a band that's very interactive. Like the way we play and sing is very, you know, react, interactive, you know, so that's, the basis of how we always were. We spent most of our time here in the city. When we went out to play, we went to CBGB's. You know, um, when, you know, we, where, this is where we hung out, this is where we grew up, this is where we, this is where we learned, this is where we got it, this is where we became who we are. You know, we are one of these bands that you could put the record on 20 years ago, you could put it on right now, and as you can experience probably with yourself, knowing maybe some of the music or introducing it to some, to some newer folks, some people will go, isn't that a, it's, it's, that's gotta be a white band, isn't it? Is it? It's, it's black guys? We still get that even 25 years down the line. Shock and all, which, is, which on one level is an introduction for everybody to be able to understand where music, what and how music is. If you just feel for wiggling, getting your groove on, or moshing up, then you're in the right place as well. What do you see? The cult of personality. Oh, oh, oh.